like a fun phase of life that I really want to cherish because I know it's not going to be like this forever. It's kind of heavy. It's quite the undertaking. Am I going to regret this? Antique haul. <laughs> I can't wait to open this package. So we're going to open it now. I think you rock it. <laughs> friends how are you welcome back to my channel for another weekday vlog um for me i'm filming this on a wednesday thursday i just wrapped up some phone call meetings i've started kind of hacking the system and if it's not a zoom meeting i've been scheduling my phone call meetings in the morning and then i do my makeup while i'm on the call <laughs> so that's been my morning and i have one other phone call this afternoon so i'm going to change and get ready and i have something fun to unbox with y'all i also think okay this is kind of a big project but it's something that i've been really itching to do i kind of want to go through and try on every single piece of clothes i own but maybe every single piece of summer clothes i own we'll do winter when winter comes along and do like a keep versus either sell or donate just because i feel like i don't even know what i have sometimes you try on something and you like it a lot more than you remembered you did or you try on something and you're like why have i held on to this this doesn't fit me right anymore i don't think i'm gonna wear this this could go to a better home and i feel like that's gonna be a huge undertaking but i do want to do it so maybe we'll do that today what do you say let's do it let's do it let's do it i'm gonna get changed though and feel put together dressed decent i can't wait to open this package so we're gonna open it now um i am getting to work with brooke linen again on today's video i love their towels i've had my brooke linen towels since february and actually it's funny the vlog that i unbox those towels is the vlog that i technically met jordy um if you want to go back and watch that but i've loved 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 my bath set from them and so i wanted to show y'all another color of it today my favorite brands are the brands that are like we think people deserve really high quality things and so we're just gonna like cut out the middleman to lower the price on those really high quality things to make it more accessible but then they still get like top of the line and brooklinen is one of those brands i do still have a promo code with them too and i'll show i'll show you this new color but i have code jancy and that is going to save you 20 dollars off a brooklinen order if you order at least 100 dollars of brooklinen's products from their website i got their move and towel bundle and this is basically everything you need to set up your bathroom it has four bath towels two hand towels four washcloths and even a bath mat and that brings the price of everything down uh 17% and then you can still stack my coat on top of it so you can get a whole new fresh bathroom setup at a discount but I got new towels and the color caramel so I think it's gonna be great to have these for guests these can be like the guest towel okay I get the ultra plush guys it's so thick and soft and nice because it has this like plushness on both sides it's not woven only on one side these are made in turkey with 100 percent cotton best of the best they even have a special way of weaving their towels i think they call it a z weave construction or z thread construction a z twist construction i was close and that basically increases the longevity of the towels they're less likely to pill they're less likely to snag so you invest and get a little bit nicer of a towel now you'll actually probably save money in the long run by not having to replace your towels as often because they'll hold up really well over time which is my goal always with things i am so excited to see how these look in my bathroom i also when you get the bundle they send you a tote i don't know if y'all have noticed there's literally my other brooklyn and tote on that chair right there i've been using it as my purse <laughs> that's where i am in life right now but I love getting to work with Brooklyn and I want to go see these in my bathroom, but just to reiterate, so you have it, I'll have that link and code down below for you too. But Jancy gets you $20 off if you spend at least $100 on Brooklyn and products from their site. And you can stack that on top of the move-in bundle and you can get all of this at a discount, which is awesome. Big fan. Big, big fan of nice home things. That's the quickest way to my heart. So let's go see how this looks. Now I don't know which color I like best in here, but it's fun that I can switch them out. I really do love the caramel. I'm gonna take Max on a walk, and then we will start, I think, trying on, like here over is pretty much summer, and then dresses and jumpsuits, and play a rapid fire game of keep versus donate. <sighs> it's so 
quite the undertaking. Am I gonna regret this? It'll feel so good after. Okay, I have exactly one hour until my next meeting and I've pulled out every summer shirt I own. We're gonna see if we can get through all the shirts before my meeting within an hour. We might just do shirts today because otherwise this vlog might be a million years long. Ready for the most rapid fire ever? Let's do this. Let's do this thing. Keep. I think donate. I think that this no longer fits me. It used to. Donate or sell, we'll see. I have several white shirts and I think others fit me better. So, not keep. This is hard. This was my favorite vintage find of all time. But if you know you know about why I can't wear Dodgers stuff anymore, maybe I'll send it to someone that still lives in LA and goes to Dodger games. I don't love this top anymore, but it's super comfy, so I think I'm gonna keep it. But similar vibes, just doesn't fit quite as well. So this one, not to keep. I used to wear these like collared linen shirts every day, especially when I was married. I don't know why, um, but I, I do still like this one. I'll keep at least one or two of this style shirt. This is a nice quality one. One of my favorite thrift finds, it's embroidered. I got it when I was like 16. Keep, love it. See, I have so much of this silhouette, but I do like the kind of shiny pattern on this one. So I'll keep it. Another white tee, but I just found another, another one. So I'm already gonna put this in, not keep. I think it's good to just have one loose black tank, just in case you need it for layering, keep. This is newer. I actually don't love the way that the over time it's gotten loose just here, but I think I'll keep one. Forever my favorite thrift find. Honestly, top three, and you've already seen all three. Definitely a keep. It's so controversial. I love it. It's technically 80s pajamas in case you haven't been here. I still like this shirt, but I have had it for literally six years, I think. So I think because of that, I'm just like, it, it needs a new home. I just don't appreciate it for what it's worth. Ah, it's hard because it is still cute. I think get rid. Yet another colored loose shirt. This one's just lower quality, so I'm gonna keep some other ones over this one. It's probably not gonna hold up as well over time. Here's one that I will keep of <laughs> more of the same, but this one's also very high quality. And I like blue, blue's nice. This is why it's good to try on. This is a shirt that I loved, I loved. And just with my body changing, it just <laughs> does not fit well anymore. It's not flattering. So even though I love it, I don't think I'm gonna wear it. I think I'm gonna put it on and feel like, that doesn't fit me. Look at that, look at that. Another one, same silhouette. I think I'm going to new home. Why do I have the same shirt? It's so many colors. I do really like the black though. Um, it's like a washable silk, so it's nice and it's easy. I'll keep. Is this the same but long line? But this one, yet again, good quality. I'll keep it. This is if I ever get a business job, if I ever go work in an office. You know, just in case. My mom told me she wants this one, so I'm gonna give this to mom. I feel like it's very her color. A thrift find, but a great thrift find. Could be very fun for like a girl's night out. Another thrift find, but I think this time, not keep. Here is the white tee that I will keep. This tank that I cropped myself and now comes in handy all the time, keep. Recently got this on my birthday, keep. This tank is interesting because it's a tank, but it's knitted. I think, I don't know, I think I hold on to it because it could be handy, but I don't really gravitate towards it. So maybe just not keep. Do I love this top? No, uh, but is it comfy and easy to throw on? Yeah, so I'll keep. Good, basic linen tank keep. I forgot about this loose black tank. This is actually vintage and it has, I don't know if you could see, a cool pattern on it. So I'm wondering if I should actually keep this loose black tank and get rid of the similar one, which is just like a new cotton, not as special, not as unique tank. Maybe I will, maybe I'll keep this one instead. My thrifted 1996, even though I'm born in 1997 shirt, keep, I like this one. <laughs> Wore this for the first time recently and think I've decided it's, it's too Easter. Does that make sense? It's not to keep. This is more of like a night out cami. I think it's good to keep. It's a little big on me, but good to keep, I'd say. This shirt I bought on my 20th birthday. I remember it clear as day. So I think it's time. New home, still cute, new home. I actually just pulled some pants that I'm unsure of. 
I have three shorts and three pants. And so I'm gonna, for my sake, rapid fire through these also. These are new. Um, they were just sent to me. They're very fun. I feel like it would even be fun with some heels. Keep. Yeah. I feel like I just have more flattering pants than these. So I think new home. These are comfy and good for travel, but they also no longer fit me. So new home. Oh, I'm torn on these. These are my favorite shorts last year, but they don't really fit me as well this year, but maybe I'll hold on to them because I am trying to gain back a little weight. So I would love to be able to still wear these because I love the, the length of them. I'm gonna hold on and hope I fit back into these soon. That's why it's so good to try things on. I'm holding on to all these things in my closet that just don't, just don't work this year. So new home. Oh man, these are another one I wanna hang on to just in hopes that I can fit back into them because these were a really great vintage find that were so flattering on me last summer. So maybe I'll, I don't know, maybe I'll hold on to them. Is that silly? <laughs> it's a little bit later. I just wrapped up two more meetings, done with those for the day. And while I was on those phone calls, I separated out the clothes that I think maybe like Buffalo Exchange would want versus donations down here. And I actually do want to go check thrift stores really quick because I'm continuing to keep my eye out for like office furniture for my adult clubhouse that I'm building in the storage unit. That video hasn't come out yet at the time of filming this and I still feel like people are going to be like, girly, come on. So I'm kind of thinking I have like an hour to kill before I need to get ready for tap class tonight, which I'm excited about. So I'm thinking about dropping off the donations at least, checking Goodwill real quick, picking up a prescription and then coming home and, and getting ready for tap. Oh, maybe also grabbing a package because it looks like I just got a package notification. <laughs> I'm actually seeing a desk chair. Jacqueline just told me she donated a desk chair to a Goodwill yesterday. And I was like, oh, which one? And she sent me the location. It's super far. I'm like, what? And she was like, yeah, I was over there. I'm sorry. Because um, I was going to maybe go buy it. But we have just a traditional desk chair for, wait, 49 cents? Is that accurate? <laughs> I wonder if this is accurate. I feel like if it's 49 cents, I have to get it. Even if it's not cute, it's it's comfy and it's doable, right? Is this really 49 cents? There's one new thing at Goodwill and this is kind of intriguing. I don't see a price anywhere on it, but it's big and comfy and it has a slip cover that very easily removes. So it could be washable, but um, I don't know if it's worth the effort of getting it into my car and all of that slash if it would even fit. So. I'm gonna I'm gonna check online and just see what comparables would be. Something that would just deliver straight to me, but that's a good option. Oh, it's kinda heavy. It was actually 1049. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Let's see if I can let's see if I can do this. This is a heavy boy. Oh, you're sweet. I think I I think I just about got it. Super nice employee offered to help me get it in, but then I got it before he got over there. You probably still can't find like a comfy rolly chair better than $10, but if you think something's 49 cents and it ends up being $10, it feels like not, not very good, but oh well, it's not for looks. <laughs> It's Thursday. Uh, here's a here's a funny story for you. I had my first therapy session this morning um, with my new therapist here in Texas through BetterHelp, and I set an alarm because it was this morning. And then I sit and I wait, and I'm like, it's weird she's late. Like seems kind of like inconsiderate for our first appointment. I then realized that my computer is still on Pacific time, and so I scheduled it for Pacific time, not Central. 
So it was actually two hours later than I first thought it was. So I have a different meeting here in about 10 minutes and then I guess therapy after that, which is totally on me, my fault. But I was talking to Jacqueline yesterday and I was like, yeah, I did a closet clean out with the vlog and I got rid of a lot of things that just don't fit anymore. And it's like equally feels great to have less things and like only have the things that fit. But also it's just such a bummer because like I liked a lot of those things. And so she was like, what if we go, you know, pick out a couple new things? And I was like, yes. So we're gonna have a sister day today. Just go look around. I feel like I've been going through a lot of new clothes lately in terms of rentals or in terms of like try on hauls and then returning most of it, but not really keeping anything. So I think it could be fun to go actually shop in person and find a couple things for me to keep that I own and maybe also take to Hawaii. And I'm really looking forward to just a day with Jacqueline and doing something girly and fun. And I know I recently went shopping with um, Anna and Kaylee, so I got one pair of shorts and one pair of shoes. And so I'm kind of thinking maybe like one other pair of shorts since it's mostly my shorts that don't fit from last year. And then maybe like a cover up or something to take to the beach to take to Hawaii. It could be fun. I don't know, but I'm looking forward to it. Max says, mom, your meetings are about to start. They're about to start. Okay, I'm gonna go hop on those. We made it to the mall. Sweet Jacqueline is grabbing me this in a different size. I wanted a fun swimsuit cover up for Hawaii and I found this set and I didn't realize I grabbed these shorts and a 2XS. I didn't mean to do that. So she's gonna grab me a size up, but I thought that this could be super fun as like a swimsuit cover up. So we'll see. The lighting in here is brutal, but shorts that fit. Feels great. Feels great to replace the ones that don't. I just realized that Jacqueline hasn't been on the vlog since being a freaking wife. What? How does it feel? It feels crazy. I <laughs> we were on the flight on our way to the honeymoon and someone was like, oh, I handed your wife uh, the pin and Mark was like, it's like, whoa, I have a yeah, wife. Yeah, it's weird. And then he couldn't stop talking about it for the rest of the week. He's like, I can't believe she said why. Jacqueline and I were talking on the way over here that I still have to change my name at social security. And obviously she's about to be changing her name. I was like, we should go together and confuse them. Be like, she's dropping Jancy. I'm adding back on Jancy and we need to do it right now. So maybe that'll be in our future. Gotta figure it out. Yeah. I'm bad with that stuff. Well, I got um, a swimsuit cover up and a new little top. And we also might look for furniture for Jacqueline's apartment slash I'm on the market for a chair. Yeah. And um, shopping. <laughs> 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 We've made it to Sephora and I've decided I want to try a new perfume and they have this whole like travel size section Which I think is kind of great because did you know perfume expires? I like recently learned that okay. like the smell changes You have to like keep it in the fridge after not that long These are so much cheaper and like way easier to travel with so I just tested all the replica ones and I like coffee break most because it's like warm and I don't know. It's not too girly. I don't like too like fruity or floral um, so I'm gonna get one of those. And then Jacqueline's picking her signature scent. <laughs> Jacqueline's styling us with sunglasses. Oh no, yours are too cute. These aren't cute? Are you kidding? Well... Maybe if you wear them like on the tip of your nose, but then what's the point? Because you're you looking out of the top. Oh yeah. Just look at me with small sunglasses. <laughs> I think you rock it. <laughs> Three blind mice vibes. <laughs> I don't know. How about these? I kind of like it. <laughs> Wait, yeah, those actually, those actually look pretty good on you. Thank you. I know. <laughs> uh oh, did you steal something? Jacqueline and her trash can. Her her real marble trash can. This is awful to carry. I'm getting a cart. <laughs> yeah, let's go get a cart. <laughs> okay, Jacqueline. Hey guys. Update us. So, so I bought the trash can, which I is, had to get a cart. It's crazy because we were at CB2 and you found the exact same trash can for, what was it there, like it was 80 a, bucks? I think it was 100, it was like 99 or something. And you found it here for 20. 29. <sighs> That's Amazing. what's up. And then I also found, Mark's gonna hate me because he thinks that I buy one of those things, but marriage, I guess. <laughs> um, <laughs> Welcome to marriage. <laughs> this rug for the, Looks the kitchen in this camera. No, it doesn't. It looks For really cool. The kitchen. Yeah. Because I, I have like a lot of I feel like 
whites and reds, but like my big like mural has that green in it. So yeah. I think I'll tie it together. Bring in the cool tones. Yes. And then Jacqueline was like, I want to find a couple more like cool little sculptural pieces. And I was like, guess what we are five minutes away from? Antique mall. <laughs> I'm actually really excited. I've never been before and I'm getting really into thrifting. I don't know why. But well, and this is like everything is old and cool. So you know like Goodwill, you have to sort through a lot of new like kind yeah. of junky things. Ugh. So this is pricier than thrifting, but there's okay. everything is cool. I'm so excited because I I've realized that Goodwill has like nothing when it comes to like home oh, decoration. It's, it's the secrets out, so it's overpicked. Yeah, but I feel like I've been going to like resale shops lately, and that's a lot better. So I'm excited oh. for an antique mall because I've yeah. been there before. And it's huge. Like you could literally spend all day in it and not see everything. It's really big. Well, we gotta go. We gotta go. <laughs> These are old vintage cabinet doors that I feel like could be really cool art on like, especially like an all white, super modern house wall. And this one, they took the edges off and like the hinges off. And I just feel like that would be really cool. Ooh, okay. My house isn't the right vibe for it. I really think it would have to be in like a pretty modern space to make it work, but I really love it. It's very, very fun. I've started collecting Jordy vintage pins of everywhere he's lived. And the last two are Alabama and Tennessee. So Jacqueline's helping me pick which Tennessee pen is the coolest. There's this one. There's this one. There's this one. Okay, Jacqueline, you choose. Which one? I don't know. Hmm. Well, wait, what is, does he put them on anything? Eh, no. <laughs> I'm the wrong man for the job. Oh. How do we feel about color though? This yeah, one good. looks more vintage. I say go more vintage. Okay. Those oh. look good together too. Thank you. I am home. I have like 30 minutes to <laughs> knock out a couple work things, eat. So I'm literally just eating Magic Spoon and uh, tidy up myself, refresh, and go to a girls group tonight. I only got a couple of basics to replace a lot of the things that we donated, but it feels good to like get rid of, you know, 40 things that don't fit and then pick out like four or five new things that do. Um, that's awesome. And I feel really good about that. And so thankful to have my sister in my building to get to hang out with her and it's like a fun phase of life that I really want to cherish because I know it's not going to be like this forever. Also want to say thanks again to Brooke Linden for partnering with me on this video. I'll have my code and my link and everything down below but it's Jancy, J-A-N-S-E um, and that's going to get you $20 off if you spend at least $100 on Brooke Linden's products and like just getting out of the shower this morning. I was like Hmm, I love these towels. I'm starting a whole new vlog tomorrow, so I hope you have the best rest of your day, and I will see you tomorrow for me, but for you in a video very soon. Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more talking to you. Here we go again. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here?